hey, it is 10 o'clock, so we will get started. If you have your music um, open up, you can start now. And I'm gonna start my music here too. Um, if you have a water bottle or a block, uh, we will be doing um, Half Moon B today. It's a balancing pose, so you can place it in the front of your mat. You, you, might, you might need that later. Uh, you can feel free to turn on your camera or off. It's completely op um, optional. If you turn on your camera, I'll check in from time to time um, just to making sure alignment. Uh, and we will be started in a comfortable seat. So find a comfortable seat and just take a moment to um, arrive in this space. Someone, Amy is joining. Welcome, Amy. Welcome, Amy. Playlist is in the chat room if you want to use that. So spend a moment to arrive on your yoga mat, no matter your practice from your bedroom, your living room, your kids' room, your kitchen, your closet. Take a moment to arrive. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, side it out. Maybe take a moment to give yourself some gratitude of spending the next 60 minutes for yourself, for your own body. And maybe start to notice the sit bones grounding down through the mat and feel supported by the earth. Start to sit up tall. Palm can face down to feel grounded or face up if you want to receive more energy. One more deep inhale through the nose. Big exhale, side it out. On this last one, as you inhale, seal your lips. And as you exhale, constrict the back of your throat like you're fogging up a mirror and create an oceana sound. This is our ujjayi breath. It helps you to build up heat in your body. I encourage you to use um, ujjayi breath throughout your practice and know that all my cues and poses are optional. I encourage you to listen to your body and make modifications as you need. So make it yours. Now drop your right ear to your right shoulder and start to walk your left hand to the left side of the mat. And maybe you hover your left palms. So feel a stretch of your left neck here. Now slowly come back to center. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Walk your right palm to the right side. If you want more stretch, hover your right palm up. Feel the stretch of your right um, neck here. Your chest is still lifted. Slowly come back to center. Make some circles of your head. Or one direction. And then reverse. And now come back to center. Place your palms by your hips. As you inhale, lift your chest. Gaze up. Feel the gentle open of your chest here. As you exhale, round forward. 
tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale, tuck and curl round your spine. Inhale to extend. Exhale, tuck and curl. Come back to center and find the tabletop, all four. So your shoulders is above your wrist, your hips above your knees, spine is neutral. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze up, cow pose, lift your tailbone up. Exhale, cat, dome the spine. Inhale, cow pose, gaze up. Exhale, cat. Push the floor away. Inhale, cow pose, gaze up. Exhale, cat. And do a couple more rounds, maybe cat cows or any organic movements that feels good in your body. Maybe you find some C shapes, some S shapes, we are just gently warming up our spine here. It's Sunday and it's early in the morning. So be gentle to your body. Now come back to neutral tabletop, tuck your toes and lift your knee just one inch above the mat. Engage your core. Feel the middle of your shoulder blades puffing up, starting to building up some internal heat here. We will press back to downward facing dog in three. So strong in two, one downward facing dog. So lift your hips high. First down dog of the class, Maybe you can spread your feet extra wide, bend your knees a lot. Notice if you're dumping your weight in your wrist, so try to have your weight evenly distributed to all 10 fingers. So the goal here is really trying to lengthen our spine. So really lift your tailbone up and you can bend your knees a lot to help you do that. Your head and neck is relaxed here. Big inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, side it out. Bend your knees, gaze forward, slowly travel to the top of your mat, wrap dog. Your feet is about hips with distance and let your upper body hang heavy here. Maybe your belly rest on your thigh, decompressing your spine. Let gravity be your friend here. Option to grab on opposite elbows. Maybe you sway from side to side. One more big inhale here through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, side it out. So good. Release both hands on the mat, slowly one vertebra at a time. Come to standing mountain pose. So mountain pose, your feet is about hips with distance, really grounding down through all four corners of your feet. Um, palm is extended long to receive energy. Chest is proud. You are a strong, tall mountain. Big inhale through the nose here. Exhale as you feel grounded. Now inhale, upward salute, reach both arms long. Exhale, hands to heart center, close your eyes. This is your opportunity to set an intention for your practice. Maybe think of someone or something that brought you here. 
today for me, I'm coming back to the basics. So I will just be focused on my breathing and have a good workout for the next 60 minutes. Inhale with your intention. Big exhale, side it out. Open your eyes. Inhale, upward salute, reach both arms long. Exhale, back bend, cactus your arm. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay here for the exhale. Your weight is in the balls of your feet. Spine is neutral. Feel the crown of the head keep reaching forward while your tailbone reaches back. Core is engaged to protect your lower back. This is an active pose. As you inhale, find length. Exhale, plank pose. Plant your palms, step both feet back. Shoulders above your wrist, your hips align with your shoulder. Lower your knees down and lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes. Exhale out all the air. Inhale, low cobra, lift your chest. Press the tops of the feet to the mat. Exhale, release. We do that two more times. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, press back through tabletop to downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward salute, reach both arms long. Exhale, find your back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose. This time, inhale, shift to your tippy top toes. Exhale, lower no more than halfway. Squeeze your shoulders in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shine your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. So these are the two options for our Chaturanga flow. We will revisit this many times throughout our practice. And know that you can always come down to your knees. You can do add-ons. You can skip it all together. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward salute, circle, sweep both arms long. Exhale, find your back bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your flow. Inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. So sink your hips low, stay here for the exhale. Your palms can reach as long or you can place your palms to hard center. Your weight is in your heels, spine is neutral. So strong, Joshua. Engage your core, engage your glutes and thighs here. One more, inhale, stay. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Find your low lunge leg and lower your back knee down to the mat. Your right knee is right above your right ankle and you should feel the stretch of your left arm. Um, quadriceps and your psoas here. 
Inhale, find your back bend, reach both arms long. Exhale, half split, straighten your front leg. Take your time. Option to flex your right toes. Maybe you can gently rock forward and back. Now slowly walk yourself forward to low lunge. Inhale, simple twist, reach your arm long. Exhale, step your left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward salute, reach both arms long. Exhale, chair pose, sink your hips low. Inhale to stay. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right leg back this time. Find your low lunge leg and lower your right knee down to the mat. So same with the other side, your left knee should be right above your left ankle. Feel the stretch of your right, um, your right hip flexors, your psoas. Inhale, lift your arm, find your back bend. Exhale, half split. Straighten your left leg. Flex your left toes towards your face. And remember to breathe here. Now walk your palms forward, find your low lunge. Inhale, easy twist, reach your left arm long. Exhale, step your right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward salute with or without back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low, your choice. All me back in downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg long. Exhale, bend your knee, scorpion dog. So you're stacking your right hip on top of your left. Notice if you're dumping your weight to your uh, left palms, try to have your weight evenly distributed to both palms opening up our right side body here. Inhale, extend your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause here. So strong. Inhale to extend. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Lower your back knee down. Inhale, find your back bend, shine your heart. Exhale, half split, straighten your right leg. Inhale, easy twist, reach your right arm long. Exhale, step your right foot back and find your flow. Nice job, everybody. Inhale, lift your left leg long. Exhale, bend your knee, scorpion dog. Stacking your left hip on top of your right, opening up your left side body. Weight evenly distributed to both palms. Inhale to extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Use your core. Inhale, extend. Exhale, low lunge. 
Lower your back knee down. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale, half split. Inhale, easy twist. Reach your left arm long. Exhale, step your left foot back and find your flow. I hope you all feel warm up now. I'm, I am sweating, definitely. <laughs> Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana. Sit your hips low. Exhale to stay. Inhale, upward solo, reach both arms long. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. And find the child's pose. Take a break, towel off. Drink some water. Nice job, everybody. Still have some more hard work to do. <laughs> and when you're ready, we all come back in downward facing dog. So from downward facing dog, let's take one collective breath here. Deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, side it out. Inhale, your right leg long. Exhale, low lunge, stab it through. Inhale, warrior two, so spin your back heel down. Lunge to your right leg, extend both arms long. Keep pressing into the knife edge of your um, left foot. And I want you to bend your elbow here and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. So feel the engagement of your shoulder blades and now extend both arms long. So your upper body is engaged here too and core is engaged. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm up and over. Exhale to stay. Inhale, breathing that right side body. Exhale, side angle. Reach your right arm down, left arm up. Still committed to the bend in your right knee. And you can gaze towards your left uh, fingers if it's okay in your neck. Now straighten your right leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Reach your right arm back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. From downward facing dog, we will repeat that on the left side. Inhale your left leg long. Exhale, low lunge, stab it through. Inhale, warrior two to your left side. So deep lunge in your left knee. Your left knee should be right above your left ankle. Keep pressing into um, the knife edge of your right foot. Same option with the arms. I want you to bend your elbow and squeeze your shoulder blazing. And now extend your elbow back. So really feel the engagement of your upper body. Your whole body is engaged in this warrior two pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left arm forward and up. Exhale to stay. Inhale, breathing to that your left side body. Exhale, side angle. Reach your left arm down, right arm up. So strong. Keep pressing into the knife edge of your right foot. Inhale to extend. Exhale, straighten your left leg, reverse triangle, reach your left arm long. 
and exhale chaturanga high to low so strong from downward facing dog inhale bend your knees gaze forward exhale travel to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift exhale fold inhale chair pose ukatasana sink low exhale open toes to the right reach your right arm back inhale back to center exhale twist left inhale center find your upward salute apologize exhale forward fold release inhale halfway lift exhale chaturanga high to low your flow know that chaturanga is always an option you can skip it you can add on just remember to listen to your body and you know do what your body needs inhale your right leg long exhale low lunge inhale warrior two spin your back heel down stay for the exhale inhale reverse warrior exhale side angle inhale reverse triangle straighten your right leg now exhale half moon beam so shift your weight to your right leg lift your left leg up if you have a water bottle or a block now it's the time to use it to help you balance this is a challenging posture try to have your both shoulders in one line and really grounding down through your standing leg. We coming back to, we coming back down to a re, reverse triangle in three. Stay with me two. One reverse triangle, straighten your right leg, lift your right arm back. Exhale, chaturanga, find your flow. From downward facing dog, we will repeat that flow on our left side. Inhale your left leg long. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to stay. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your left leg. Exhale, half moon be to the left. You know where we're going this time. So shift your weight to your left foot. Lift your right leg up. If, you're, if you want more challenge, you can try to gaze towards your right fingertips. Find the drishti or point for you to look at, so to help you with your balance. We coming back to reverse triangle in three. Stay with me two. One reverse triangle, reach your left arm back. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Nice job. Take one collective breath here. Deep inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, side it out. Inhale your right leg long. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale to stay. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your right leg. Exhale, half moon B, just for one round of breath here. Inhale, reverse triangle. 
exhale, your flow. Inhale, find your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg long. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale to stay. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your left leg. Exhale, half moon be to the left. Just one breath. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. And find the child's pose, towel off, drink some water. Nice job, everybody. And when you're ready, we meet back in downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, walk your palms back to meet your feet. So you're in the back of your mat and widen your stand. So your feet is about mat with distance, heels in, toes out and squat down for Malasana squat. So the goal here is really, we're trying to open up our hips and our thighs here. If your heel is lifted, that's okay. Um, palms to heart center, use your elbow to help you open up your hips. If you have any inversion like crow or flying frog, you're welcome to go there. If you're staying in Malasana squat, um, I have another options for you. So plant your right palm down. As you inhale, reach your left arm up. Feel the openness of your left side body here. Deep breathing. And exhale, plant your left palm down. As you inhale, reach your right arm up. Open up your right side body. Exhale, come back to center. If you're in any inversion, we all meet back in Malasana squat. Now plant both palms down and straighten both legs. We move on to gorilla pose. So your feet is about hips with distance and flip your palm up. So your palms facing towards the ceiling and slide your palms under your feet. So you're standing on your palms. So use your body weight to massage your palms here. Let your upper body hand heavy, relax your head and neck. And maybe your belly touches your thigh, let your belly be soft. So use this chance to send your palms some love. It's been doing a lot of chaturanga for you during the class. Deep breathing through the nose. Big exhale, side it out. Now slide your palms out and walk to a downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward salute, reach both arms long. Exhale, chair pose, palms to heart center. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist to the right. So your left elbow is at the outside of your right thigh. Keep pressing into your palms to help you twist. Notice if your left knee start to creep over, 
try to square your hips. Now slowly shift your weight to your right foot. Lift your left leg up, flamingo pose. Duck your left foot back. You're in revolve twist. Option to lower your back knee right away for a deeper twist. For your palms, you can options to open up your palms or you can form a half bind or a full bind if it's in your practice. We will be here for a couple more rounds of breath. So settle in, in this not too comfortable poses. And come back to your intention. Deep breath and feel your spine lengthen. Deep breath out to twist. Slowly place your palms back to heart center. Frame your front foot. Lift your arm, um, straighten both legs. Find your pyramid leg. So shorten your stand. Um, your back toes is about 45 degree angle, pointing towards the left side. Your hips is pointing straight forward. So as you inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, fold over to your right leg. Feel the stretch of your right hamstrings, maybe your lower back. Let your head and neck relax. Maybe you give yourself a big smile here. Now step your left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, upward slowly, reach both arms long. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. So your right elbow is at the outside of your left thigh. Keep pressing into your palms to help you twist. And notice if your right knee starts to creep over, Try to have both hips in one line. Now shift your weight to your left foot. Lift your right leg up, flamingo pose. Duck your right foot back. Revolve twist. Option to lower your back knees right away for a deeper twist. Same, same options with the other side with the arms. You can extend both arms. You can form a half bind or a full bind. And we will stay here for a couple more rounds of breath. As you take a deep breath and feel your spine lengthen. As you exhale, twist. Trying to find comfort in this not so comfortable pose. One more deep breath in to stay. Big exhale. Bring your palms back to heart center. Frame your left foot, straighten both legs. Step your right foot closer to the right. Um, find your pyramid pose. So your right toes is about 45 degree angle, pointing towards the right side both hips pointing forward. Micro bend your left leg to protect your knee joints. So fold your body over to your left leg. Decompressing your spine. Now step your right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly one vertebra at a time. Come to standing mountain pose. And close your eyes. Just take a moment to pause here. Maybe reconnect with your intention, with your heart.
inhale upwards so reach both arms long exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale plank pose and we are lowering down from a count four three two one lower down to your belly and tuck your toes place your palms by your side palm face down pressing into the tops of your feet for half locust pose so exhale out all the air to prepare inhale lift your heart neck is long tiny sip of air inhale strengthening our lower back pressing down through your pubic bone exhale release gaze right left cheek on the mat 100 percent effort with 100 percent relaxation bring your head back to center this round we do full locus so exhale out all the air to prepare. As you inhale, lift everything up. Lift your heart, lift your legs, lift your palms. Imagine yourself soaring up on the sky. So strong. Tiny sip of air, inhale. Can you lift a little taller? Exhale, release, gaze left. Right cheek on the mat. Option to windshield wipe your legs to release your lower back. Maybe you listen to your own heartbeat. The last round I will cue for bow pose. If bow pose not in your practice, you can still do the half locust or full locust pose. So bring your head back to center, bend your knees. Your, knee, uh, your knees should be about hips width distance and grab from the outside of your, of your leg. Exhale out all the air. As you inhale, keep kicking your feet into your palms and lift your chest. Think about the more you kick, the more you lift. So maybe you can rock towards the soft side of your belly. Engage your quadriceps, engage your glutes here. Inhale, one more kick. Exhale, release. Gaze right, left cheek on the mat. Option to windshield wipe your feet. Now press yourself up so you're standing on your knees for camel pose, our biggest back bend for the day. Your knees is about hips width distance. Place your palms in your lower back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. As you inhale, lift your chest up. And in the same time, press your hips forward. So really focus on lifting your chest here. If you feel pretty open and you want more back bend, you can start to walk one hand on your ankle, maybe both. But if there's any pain in your back, backing off a little bit. So listen to your body. And remember to breathe. Place your palms back to your lower back. Slowly come back to a seat on your heel, hero's pose. And close your eyes. Pause here for a moment. Knowing that camel pose is a big heart opening pose. So if there's any emotions coming up, just know that it's all normal. Take a deep inhale to acknowledge. Big exhale, side it out. 
Inhale, reach both arms long and find your steeple grip. As you exhale, half tortoise pose. So keep reaching your palms forward and down. Use your core. Try to have your face touches the mat before your pinkies. Once your palm touches the mat, you can release your grip. Maybe you keep walking your palms forward while you reach your hips back. This should feel really good after the, the camel pose. And let your belly be soft here. Now find your steeple grip, use your core, rise up with the flat back. And release your palms by your side. Sway your legs out in front of you, cross your, cross your right knee over your left. Let's do some spinal twist on the mat here. So place your right palm by your side. Inhale, reach your left arm long. Exhale, twist to the right. So really grounding down through both sits bone. Lift your, the crown of your head up to the sky. As you inhale, feel your spine lengthen. As you exhale, twist. Slowly come back to center, swap out your leg. So crossing your left knee on top of your right. Place your left palm by your side. Inhale, reach your right arm. Exhale, twist to the left. Grounding down both sits bones. You're sitting up tall. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Now come back to center. Extend both legs long and slowly lower yourself all the way down to your back. Hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Maybe you rock from side to side. Massage your upper back, middle back, lower back. Now release um, both feet on the mat. Cross your right ankle over your left for a supine twist. So start to squeeze your left knee into your chest. You decide how much sensation you want. So breathe into those tight hips. Big exhale. If you haven't already, I encourage you to close your eyes. Now slowly lower your left leg down and cross your right foot. Now cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Supine. You're a supine pigeon on the left. So start to squeeze your right knee towards your chest. 
and you decide how much sensation you want. Notice if your tailbone start to creeping up, try to keep all the spine on the mat. So keep your tailbone down. Now slowly release both leg on the mat. Hug both knees in one more time. And keep your right knee to your chest, release your left leg long. Half winter moving pose. So as you inhale, squeeze your right knee towards your right armpit. As you exhale, supine twist. Cross your right knee over to the left. Gaze towards your right fingertips. If your right shoulder doesn't touch the mat, that's okay, but that is the direction we are trying to go. Slowly come back to center. Squeeze your right knee in one more time. And then swap out our leg. So now squeeze your left knee in. As you inhale, press your left knee towards your left armpit. Exhale, supine twist to the left side. Gaze towards your left fingertips. Notice if you're still holding any attention to your face, so relax your face. Relax the space in your eyebrows. Relax your jaws. Now slowly come back to center. Find your happy baby pose. So grab from the outside of your foot. Maybe you can kick your legs into one hand, maybe both. Find your own version of your own happy baby. Maybe you rock from side to side. Now extend both legs long to the ceiling. So legs off the wall pose. If you have any final inversion like plow or shoulder stands, you can feel free to move on to do so. Or you can stay in legs off the wall pose. This is a very restorative posture. 
It helps to encourage circulations. Maybe you can soak up your ankles. If you're in any inversion, we all meet back in legs off the wall. Now squeeze your knees in one more time and take the biggest inhale yet of the day. Exhale, Shavasana, take up space. Close your eyes and enjoy the complete stillness for the next two minutes or so. I will guide you out when it is time. So enjoy. I like to end our class with a paragraph from our journey to the heart. Let joy find you. Joy is a gift. It appears almost imperceptibly without warning, like a morning sunrise lighting our bedroom while we sleep. And it is almost predictable. Keep doing the activities that bring healing and growth into your life. Keep loving yourself. Keep walking your path. Let joy find you. If you're ready to move on to this beautiful Sunday morning, start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, gently rock your head from side to side, and press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you all so much for joining me for this practice. I hope to see you all again soon. Namaste.